Hello, I am Barris of Anglesey, a.k.a. Barry of Anglesey, a.k.a. Barium, a.k.a. Barrick. Go by a bunch of names. Anyway, uh, we had a practice um, earlier this week, and um, someone asked me if I could send them a video of uh, some basics on how to fight with the polearm. Uh, so I sent them some videos, but unfortunately I could not find anything that talked about a uh, very specific foundation of a style that's myself, and uh, a friend of mine, Donnan of the Blood Guard, uh, we both live in the southern region of the East Kingdom. Um, some of the, as actually fundamentals that he was talking about, so I want to give him the credit. I'm just basically here to reiterate some of the things that he was talking about in the video. Um, so anyway, uh, what we talked about is a particular style of polearm fighting. Um, it's called bayonet style. And what bayonet style basically means is you're starting off with um, your weapon out in front of you, um, prepared to spear, basically prepared to thrust at your opponent, uh, much like a spear. Um, I do this primarily because I'm not really a polearm fighter, I'm a spearman. Um, so I pretty much use this as a spear um, because it's generally to my advantage against most people I face um, until they get inside and then I have a whole bunch of other things that I do once they get inside. So anyway, we're, we're going to talk about pretty much a starting point. Um, and on a side note, there, there are um, other styles you see guys will start with a, with a pull up or they might even start, you know, uh, with the, the butt spike forward. Um, there are different methods to fight. Um, what I found though is that even if you use one of those methods primarily, if that person faces someone who, who fights bayonet style, they really have no choice but to at least start off in the bayonet position. Anybody that comes at me with their, their blade up, cocked and ready to swing, I'm just going to, you know, 19 times out of 20, I'm going to stab them in the face or stab them in the stomach. Um, so they really have to start um, in this, this sort of position. So what I have here is a, just a PVC pipe um, that I use for practice. It's on the end of a, uh, a music stand, uh, sort of a boom mic music stand. Um, and this will give you just sort of an idea of like what the opponent's um, pole arm is going to look like. So here my opponent is set up, pointed right at me. They can point at the face. They can point at the body. Um, generally speaking, the face is a better place to point. Um, people a little, they get nervous when they think, see things pointed at their face. Um, it's also easier to get them to take a shot. Um, I used to go for the body all the time primarily because I didn't want to hurt my friends. And then I found that some of the, the better people, it was hard to get a shot to stick on them. Um, so I started moving more toward, toward facing the face. So let's, let's even point this thing at my face. Okay, so here it is pointed yeah, kind of sort of at my face. So the big thing is, what I want is, I don't want this pointed at my face. That's, that's a bad position for me to be in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pole arm. I'm going to actually try to hold this thing just offline. So it's now not pointed at my face. Or if I was standing in front of the person, maybe I could step to the side and push it here. Or if I was standing in front of the person, I could try to push theirs out of the way just a little bit. Okay, so the big thing is from this position, um, once they get online, they're going to want to fire straight at me. So here's the, the first... Fundamental, all right, so the first fundamental we're talking about is basically holding the polearm pointing at them, a little bend in the knees, okay, and you want to be about ready to move out or move in, okay, so we want to be in this position or even side to side, okay, it's hard to do that if you're just sort of standing here like this, so a little bit of a bend in the knees, you don't have to have a death grip on this thing, but you know, have it in a solid position, um, I'm turning my body a little bit to the side, so I'm not going to stand here like this, okay, this is going to give a, a very easy target, it's hard to move. A um, little bend. You can hold this out here. You can bring it in wherever's comfortable. You're going to have to experiment with it. But the biggest problem I see with people is they start windshield wipe, wipe, washing across here. They try to block over this way. They try to block over this way. And every time you do that, you're moving your weapon out of the way and you're also throwing some momentum into it. Um, and by momentum, what I mean is if I block this way, it's going to be hard for me to stop, recover, and bring it back. Um, so if somebody was to swat, try to swat mine out of the way, I might just dip under and spear to this side. Or dip under, knock it out of the way, and come on in. So we want to get out of the habit of blocking like this. We don't want to do this stuff. All you want to do, if the weapon is on this side of your body, in this case it's on my left side of the body, and they want to take a shot at me, all I do is I turn like this. I push this out a little bit. I actually bring the, the back hand up just a little bit. And I actually move my body a little bit. So instead of just using the arms, I move my body a little bit out of the way. It's a very subtle movement. That's the block. That's it. That's 
all I need to do. Um, so if you're at practice, work on that. Have somebody say, hey, throw 20 shots at this side of my body, and 20 times I'm going to try to do this. When you're not at practice, sit at home, look at a mirror. Hold yourself in the mirror. So your opponent is going to be your own reflection in the mirror. So you're pointing at yourself and you think to yourself, that guy's going to throw a shot at me. You do this. And look at yourself in the mirror. If you're doing this, that's bad. Just flip it up like that. The more difficult one is if it's pointed to the other side of you. Okay? If it's on this side of you, you really have to move a little bit more. And what we want to do in order to move is you just do a little bit of, we turn it over and we dip it down just a little bit. I'm going to move this out of the way just for now. So if it's coming on this side, it's this motion, okay? You know, you can use a little bit of the knees, a little bit of this. Okay, every person's going to be different. You have to experiment around and try different things. Um, I think Donnie likes to use more of his back leg. I'll turn a little bit in this way. Um, again, the same concept applies. You want to move, you want to move both your body and your weapon so that both of them will have to move half, half as much. So just the weapon, I have to do that. Just the body, I have to do this. If I do both, it gets there twice as fast. Um, and the big key that we had when we were working with a, uh, a newer fighter this weekend is he kept wanting to drop it all the way down to the ground. Okay? You want to move it as little as possible. So the tip of this weapon really shouldn't go any lower than your butt or your hip. You're just going to knock it down. Okay? So that's your basics of the stance. So I'm standing here. I'm going to do this. Knock it down. They get to the inside. Some things to be aware of. Um, I learned, or well, Sir Guy talked about this. We talked about being on the safe side of the weapon. Okay, either side of this weapon I could consider the safe side. The safest side is to have it on this side of the weapon. If, it, if you're right handed, or if you're left hand up, if you're on this side of the weapon, I'm right hand up, so it's this side of the weapon. So I'm in the safe position. Um, I'll see Sir Cullen, who is an amazing polearm fighter. Um, he'll actually stand. Like, uh, well, I'm probably not doing it as well as he does. He'll actually stand all the way out here. Okay? He's saying, I, I don't even want to have any chance of this thing flying over here. So he'll lean all the way over here. But you can only do it when the weapon's on this side. If the weapon moves to the other side, okay, you can't stand like this anymore. Okay? You have to sort of bat it back down to this side. Okay? Generally speaking, if you can, try to keep it to this side. Um, beyond that, from this position, so those are your defenses in the bayonet style. The offenses are you have to be able to throw a good thrust at the person. The only way you're going to do that is to practice it. And by practicing it, you can't just show up to practice once a week and just fight people and maybe every now and then you throw a thrust at them. You actually have to work on it. So you work on it in practice. You might say, hey, Bob, I want to throw 20 thrust at your face, you defend them, and I just want to work on this. But more importantly, at home, you have to get yourself a target. I've got a target over here, and you just want to keep trying to hit that target. Um, I'm going to back out just a little bit. You really want to be out at range. You can do it as a pull cue, where I'm here. Um, you can put the right hand off. Um, at the beginner levels, honestly, the biggest thing is just getting to the point where you can start to hit. Remember, if you're shooting for the face, uh, we have positive force face thrust. That means you need just enough force to move the helmet back. Don't rail him in the face. You want to get used to just touch him in the face. And that's your bayonet style, um, I guess, lesson 101. So I hope you enjoy.